If it feels like your paychecks aren't going as far lately, you are not alone. Consumer prices, they are skyrocketing. And now San Diego's inflation rate is outpacing the country as a whole. New federal data shows inflation is up 7.5% across the country. But those numbers show San Diego County's inflation rate is up significantly higher hitting 8.2% last month. A big chunk of where all of our money is going is to energy, something we all know is getting more and more expensive. But now there's a new plan for a hydroelectric power plant in North County. CBS 8's Ariana Cohen takes us to the San Vicente Reservoir for a look at how it would work and the controversy surrounding it. Over the weekend, I spoke to the leader of a conservation group that opposes the idea of building this facility since it could be built on two preserves. Today, the San Diego County Water Authority explains why it's beneficial to California. Nina Kuzmik from the San Diego County Water Authority says the proposed hydro energy storage facility at the San Vicente Reservoir will not only generate power for thousands of households, it will help California meet its energy goals. So the state has um, an aggressive renewable state um, goal with 100% by 2045 of clean energy um, resources. This project will help in meeting those goals because it will use the, the renewable energy Energy, energy generated during the day, use that to store it for later use. A, um, this type of facility does not emit greenhouse gases. How it works is the project would create a small upper reservoir above the existing city-owned San Vicente Reservoir. They'd be connected by a tunnel system and an underground powerhouse. Water from the bottom would then be pumped up. downwards generating electricity. Kuzmik says the state allocated $18 million to further advance the construction of the project, something that Diane Conklin, the leader of the Mussy Grade Road Alliance, is against. We are absolutely gobsmacked that this would be possible here. The issue is putting industrial site on two preserves. That is a terrible precedent to set and it's the wrong thing to do. It seems insane. The total cost of the project is $1.5 billion, which taxpayers will have to pay. However, Kuzmik says taxpayers will benefit from this. We will um, receive some revenue for using those assets such as the water and the land and then that revenue will be used to offset water rates. This facility will be less expensive than bringing, relying on power from outside of the state. There are alternate proposed sites for the upper reservoir. They are still in the early stages of this project that if approved won't be completed until 2030. Ariana Cohen, CBS 8.